Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on what time zone you're in or what time you're watching this video. Today we're back with Larkin Poe, Mad as a Hatter. Um, I was actually shown this song uh, by a friend of mine, Sarah, and I didn't get a chance to listen to it properly, but I, I knew I liked it from the outset, and I am very excited to actually be able to sit down and, and listen fully now. Um, so, without further ado, love you all. Let's jump right in, shall we? Let's go. You are so quiet. So are we. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, I love how the drummer started nodding right away, too. We wrote this for our grandfather. Mm -hmm. um, and he suffered from schizophrenia. And I think mental illness is one of those things that's very hard to talk about. It's an uncomfortable thing to talk about. But I think it's something that should be... We should be open about it. 100%. It's really hard to watch somebody slipping away. Especially recently, our, our grandmother, our mom's mom, has been... slipping away kind of into dementia. And so we are going to remember our grandparents when we sing this next one. It's about mental illness. It's called That's Mad as a Hatter. That's beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen a guitar played that way before. I would not have even realized that's a guitar if I wasn't looking at it. Felt like accusatory. It pulls off the covers, rifles through your head, and then you wake to find you can't remember what you just said. Happens wow. to everyone. Just like the father of my father, Tom stole his mind, and I can't forget. One fourth of his blood is mine. I try not to worry. <laughs> so hard not to. God, okay. Um, so to start off, the way that she kind of leads us into this, like talking about time, it's so accusatory and you feel it in her voice because it's the result of the pain that she's felt, like like seeing the people that she loves go through it. And and that's, oh my God, that was, it's all emotional. Like you can feel it in her voice. And and then we get to the point where we're talking about what time does, and it sounds like uh, like it sounds like an aggressor. You know what I mean? Like reaching in at night, taking off the covers, and in basically going through your mind, like just taking away parts of it. And and the way that it, it really does feel predatory of time, doesn't it? The way that it comes for all of like physical physical changes, mental changes as a result, and and this is what it feels like. It feels like you can't stop it, and you want to stop it, but you can't help it. And that's such a a crazy way to characterize it that I would not have ever thought of, and it's so brilliant. But on top of that, when she's when she's like as she starts, there is no harmony, right? And then when we get the harmony, it's actually almost like the fear in our mind, the hauntedness in our mind, because that comes in when it says, 
like you wake to to realize you can't remember right and and that's when the voice comes in and and, and it harmonizes she's first of all she harmonizes so well but it comes in like like the voices in our head fearing it and then we get to this point where we're saying that it's in our blood right and saying one fourth is so such a brilliant like way to do that because if you actually know biology it's true one fourth of your dna comes from uh your grandparent and so she's saying my one fourth of my blood is my grandpa's and and that's such a brilliant thing to just put in there which i is more of a sciencey love that i have but then to go beyond that when she start when she says i try not to worry music starts to kind of fall away but then we have this just explosion of sound that comes in and it is like all that time we spent trying not to worry kind of falls back and we we are in that fear and we get please don't come for me just i'm trying to be i'm trying to be this person who i am and you're taking that away from me that feeling and you can feel it in the words that she's saying and and the way that all the sounds come in it's like all those thoughts that go rolling around in your head when you're in those moments of panic and those moments of fear that you've been trying so hard to keep at bay and yet they've all rolled in and that's when we get all that sound kind of coming in i want to listen to that again because that was so damn good and then talking about this as being like mad as a hatter it's like yeah and in that moment you don't realize necessarily that you've begun to change because this like to you it's normal everything that you're doing is normal but slowly things start to manifest that you become aware of and that change hurts to see not only for yourself but or for those around you but also for yourself because you're not even necessarily going to ever be able to be the same person that other people remember you as and like you guys know I lost my grandfather, and and honestly, a lot of this hits home very, very deeply. I want to go back and, and just listen to this again. That was brilliant. You just said, happens to everyone. Just like the father of my father. See that? Time stole his mind. The worry. And it's so haunting. It's so powerful, man. It sounds like she's like begging. Oh. Sounds like she's pleading with time, man. It's hard to draw a clear distinction. Who you are, who you are. Through the looking glass, the past and future begin.
Oh, what in the world? Oh my god. Oh my god. I, um... I don't even know what to say. At the end there, the, the, the music that we get starts off very consistent, and it almost feels like time. Like it's a representation of time, but then you get these discordant sounds as time seems to, like, blur. And then we get off with the head, off with the head, paint the roses. And when you think about what that means, it's almost like time speaking to us, like, off with your head, lose your mind. You know what I mean? Paint the roses red as though, like, you're literally cutting it off and painting the field of flowers that you considered your memories and your thoughts and your life with the red that comes from you losing your head or losing your mind. And that's... That's great. That's... Wow. I... I am just in awe. And, and honestly, the vocalizations alone... I don't know their names yet. I should have learned their names maybe beforehand. Um, but they're both amazing. The harmonies are brilliant. And then when she comes in, um, lady with the red hair, I'm so sorry. If you ever see this, I will promise to learn your name to the next one. I promise, I promise, I promise. But when she starts singing this, it's, it's almost pleading when we get to the chorus. And even here, it's like a detachment now because it's like off with the head could even mean like, I'm done with this. Just let me go. Because when you're, when you're starting to lose faculties of who you are which we get in the second verse where you you look in the mirror and and the past and the future kind of blend and blur because you can't seem to make heads or tails of it when it gets to that feeling you feel like you've kind of lost yourself in a sense and maybe in that moment it's you also speaking to yourself like off with oh, geez man this is it, it's so deep it's so deep and the emotion runs deep and it's because this comes from their heart this comes from in here because they are experiencing it currently and experienced it previously before. And, and anyone who has seen that happen, anyone who's seen someone suffer through any kind of mental illness, whether it is schizophrenia, whether it is dementia, whether it is any, any illness, mental illness, actually even physical illness is like, you get to this point where you pray it doesn't get worse or you pray it doesn't even happen, especially if it runs in your family. And, and you, you, when you start to feel it, like these thoughts rushing in of what happens when, if, if it happens to me, this is what it feels like. It's like this culmination of sounds in the chorus that come in is that those, those fears cascade through your mind. And then when we get to here, it's like, if you've had that disease long enough or the illness long enough, it's like this detachment that you get. And that's how she kind of sings it here at the end. It's this detachment of like off with their head, off with their head. And it's like now it's not even as emotionally packed, but it's detached because you yourself feel so just at a loss of what to do. And you feel mad as a hatter. And it encompasses the song perfectly. This whole thing was amazing. And it's so true. Like seeing someone go through something like this, it, it hurts. Like my grandpa, as he was aging started to lose his his memory it, sometimes like the just the way that he thought and and it was so hard to see that because it's this person who you love and you know that they themselves feel a little lost and you just wish you could help them and when you can't that hurts and it sucks and you if that's how you're feeling you can only imagine how they're feeling and this kind of perfectly encompasses that and it's it's just so deeply emotional and I love it. And I think they're so right that we don't get to talk enough about things like this. And it's partly because it is uncomfortable. But sometimes the most uncomfortable things are uncomfortable because that's us moving through it to talk about it. And it sucks sometimes to go through that, but it has to be done to get further. Oh, man, this was amazing. I am in awe. Also, when she was dancing, like the, the knee swinging, that was so damn cool. Wow, I am in awe. This whole thing was amazing. Um, if you enjoyed, please feel free to share your thoughts, share your, share your feelings. And if you're going through something, remember that you always have someone you can reach out to. You always have us. Um, but I'm sure also people in your life, just it's sometimes hard, sometimes hard to just take a breath and actually do it. But we'll all be better for it. So please make sure that you do. Uh, and make sure that your week is better than your day, your month is better than your week, and your year is better than your month. Love you all, and I will see you on the next one.